Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog, where we discuss activity that goes on here with the channel, current events, headlines that are in the news, technology, and items of interest that come up worth mentioning to you guys. It's the day out of the week where we take a little bit of a departure from the regular activity that goes on here with the channel. I want to thank all you guys for your recent participation here on the Friday Vlogs. This was something that I wanted to adapt and reintroduce into the channel, so I do appreciate all your guys' support. And if this is your first time here to the channel to watch any of the Friday Vlogs, I want to welcome you guys here and encourage you to click on that watermark over there in the bottom right-hand corner to subscribe. So worth mentioning and starting things off, President Trump is currently in NATO as of this recording, then he'll be making his way to the UK. And the interesting note here, of course, is that um, uh, in recent news, you may have seen, at least on social media, I don't know how much coverage it's gonna get in the mainstream, but uh, a group of individuals there in the London area have uh, put together a little Trump baby balloon that will be flying over the city Courtesy of Shadiq Khan, the uh, London mayor, who gave approval for this because you have to have some kind of license or permit to do damn near anything in that area or in that country for that matter. But uh, there's also a counter balloon, as it were. An individual um, decided that he would make a Shadiq Khan balloon. And uh, discussions were going on about that being made. And apparently, individuals, and even including Shadiq Khan, uh, did not have any particular issues with it. So we'll have to actually see if it was more hype than um, substance behind Shadiq Khan and those who were also gonna be doing the Trump balloon. But uh, what's funny about that is the individual who was gonna do the Shadiq Khan balloon was able to actually raise more money in two weeks than the people who were doing the Shadiq Khan, or the Trump balloon in a month. So that was quite amusing and entertaining. But it's important to note here that um, like you see here in the media in the United States, or maybe even there in uh, the UK, the BBC, The Guardian, and other uh, types of uh, media, is that they are gonna focus or make it seem as though it's a, a bigger deal than it really is, or that more people um, are contrary to Trump's visit than there really are, because I'm seeing over Twitter and over the internet in general that uh, there's a lot of people that will be welcoming President Trump. Another interesting key note here, is that they are requesting or asking American citizens or Americans that are there in Great Britain or perhaps individuals that live there that are Americans uh, to tone things down and not to get too, uh, not to be too flamboyant or maybe even too patriotic uh, with the arrival of President Trump, which I think is absolutely absurd. Can you even begin to imagine? Uh, who's recently visited there in the UK? Let's see, it was Mohammed bin Salam of Saudi Arabia. What does Saudi Arabia do to individuals of arbitrary characteristics? Oh, did you recently hear that within the last two weeks, women can now drive in Saudi Arabia? Yeah, we're in 2018 and, and they can drive. Now, when he visited there in the UK, um, women at that time could not drive. Also, our Ardawan from Turkey also visited the UK. You know, uh, they just recently had a coup there and um, he rounds up journalists and imprisons them and uh, goes after, beats up, assaults uh, his opponents. Uh, what type of uh, balloons were made uh, for these guys? It's kind of interesting how that seems to be. And I'm gonna explain something to you. Uh, I can go into depth in another video about it, but suffice it to say this, is that when individuals know there's a true threat, then maybe they dial it back. But when they know that there isn't a particular threat, then they're more inclined to do these things like Shadiq Khan there in London, which I think is, how diplomatic is that actually? So they want to discuss or talk about how um, Trump is uh, kind of juvenile with his tweets and then they turn around and then do something juvenile themselves. But uh, I'm gonna link down in the public section below the, the guy who did the uh, Shadiq Khan balloon, which I think is quite amusing. So um, be sure you check that out. As of this recording, I'm very happy to announce that all the boys, all 11 from the Boer soccer team have been rescued along with their coach. What an extraordinary story. I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with it, 
but I'm happy to uh, reintroduce it into this week's Friday Vlog. I will be putting a, a video down in the published section there from Channel 4 News. Uh, seems like the UK did a lot more coverage than the US. I've not really looked uh, into uh, how much coverage the United States put into this, but there were individuals from all over the world that were there, uh, British, English, I think Swede, and uh, some other groups of individuals that were there participating in the rescue. And I want to take a moment to recognize Saman Gunan, the Thai Navy SEAL who passed away uh, during the course of this rescue. What an incredible story. I really anticipate this probably becoming a movie. So um, I will put a, a video down to Channel 4 in the published section below, but happy to say that they're all out. Um, some of the boys are suffering from respiratory issues and other conditions, but at least all of those will be treatable. So this will make for a very remarkable, I think, movie that will probably be coming out soon. But nonetheless, happy to say that all of them have been rescued. And that's going to wrap it up for this Friday Vlog for this week. This has been an amazing week, just in general. Just amazing amounts of great news just overall. I've been very happy. Lots of things going on. I did have to make the video earlier in the week, as I mentioned, because of scheduling and other things that are going on. But uh, nonetheless, I think that uh, we capped on some rather interesting stories that are going on this week. Uh, you're going to obviously want to keep an eye out for what's going to be going on there in the UK uh, with Trump's visit. I think it's going to be a rather interesting turn of events there. And uh, we'll talk about that probably in next week's Friday Vlog. And uh, this portion of the video is where you take a moment and click on that watermark that is appearing there on the screen to ensure you subscribe. Click that bell if you want notifications of when I do the next upload and I will see you guys in the next video.